This isn't your ordinary kid's birthday party. These birthday party attendees are getting the movie star treatment with a red carpet, lights, a camera, and lots of action. You ready to be a superstar? You ready to be fabulous today and take fabulous pictures and be awesome? Because you're the what? Birthday. Yeah, that's right. Every little girl wants to feel fabulous. Every little girl wants to feel like a celebrity. And moms will spend money to make sure their little babies are happy. That's what Ava's mom wanted for her daughter's sixth birthday. And that's what Trisha Mezaru is banking on to build on the branding success she's had with the Tottlewood name. Tottlewood birthday parties in Great Neck. I think we've gotten to a place where the name is big enough where if people say, oh, there's a Toddlewood Studio, they may actually pay attention. So I've opened up the Toddlewood Studio here in Great Neck. One little boy named Max needed convincing to step inside, but the little girls couldn't wait to be fussed over. Who's gonna do the hair and makeup first? I'm gonna do it. You definitely And who was here first? Me. We first introduced you to this ad exec turned photographer nearly two years ago. That's when she first hit it big recreating famous Hollywood moments or mimicking movie stars with mini me's. She booked Good Morning America, E! Entertainment, and The Today Show, among others. Fast forward to the summer of 2014. Lights, camera, action! Can you do that? Lights, camera, action! Mezaru is still doing photography. It makes up 30% of her business. In April, she spent about $35,000 in startup costs to lease and furnish this two-floor, 2,800-square-foot studio. Not only does she use it as a home for her photo shoots, she's using it for these Toddlewood themed parties. Mezru says she's already breaking even. I will look like Elsa. She charges $525 for a party for up to 10 kids, ages four and up. It's $25 extra for each additional child. There's makeup, manicures, robes, the fancy party downstairs, and pizza. The parties now represent 70% of her business. It's just finding money for advertising that's her biggest obstacle. And how do you feel wearing the robe and getting the makeup? Like, like a queen? The toughest part about having a studio or having a place is that I'm back to renting. <laughs> Now I am, I've got, I've got bills, and I've got insurance, and I've got electricity, and heat, and you name it, phone bills, cable bills. She also has to pay, on average, seven freelancers to help out. Like any entrepreneur who's branching out, the expansion of her brand wasn't all smooth sailing. She intended to open a Tottlewood talent agency. It's been quite a challenge, I have to tell you. It's really something that, you know, that you, you need to do fully. And what I've noticed that when I put my team together for the agency and myself, it just ended up being a little bit too, um, took me away from photography. So while that's on hold, she's still hoping to capitalize on the Tottlewood name with possible franchising. It's the epitome of branding. Mezru has even developed her own signature look to extend her brand identity. My look is my is my hats, and you know, on the internet, people always comment um, when I'm doing an interview or I'm taking a picture, and if I don't have my hat on, they'll say something. <laughs> it's crazy. I've got at least I don't know 30 or so fedoras. But look over there, way. The kids get snapped in shot after shot, and get to go home with two photos. But you can bet Mezru is already thinking of how she can make her brand even bigger. As for the clients, remember our little reluctant director, Max? First I was complaining I didn't want to go because there was too much girls. But then... I kind of liked it. Why? Because I got used to it. Hi. 